This semester, we designed Robotl, an autonomous robot for an academic competition at EPFL. We are three engineering students from the sections of robotics and electronics. The aim of the competition is to clean an area filled with plastic bottles in a random environment. The robot must be fully autonomous, must be able to travel, to localize, pick up the bottles, and return them to a recycling area. Let us present to you our robot, Robotl. For the mechanics, we want it to remain as simple as possible. The robot is fully built with laser cut wood. It uses two driving wheels in the front and two caster wheels in the back. To pick up the bottles, we use a sticky arm with glue at the tip and a passive release mechanism to detach the bottles from the arm. There is a door behind the robot to release all the bottles. We developed our software with ROS, which allowed us to manage the sensors easily and integrate them into high-level algorithms. To localize the robot and build a map of the environment, we use a LiDAR with a SLAM algorithm. To localize the bottles, we use a Raspberry Pi camera and a neural network. The neural network was trained using a COCO dataset and is run with CUDA on the GPU of the embedded computer. The camera detects the angle at which bottles are located, while ultrasonic sensors detect when a bottle is within arm range. In order to collect standing bottles, it tips them over. If a bottle wasn't collected, it tries a second time. All these computationally heavy tasks are handled by a Jetson Nano connected to the camera and the LiDAR. The low-level control is done by an Arduino Mega, which is connected to the motors and ultrasonic sensors. Let's see the robot in action with the SLAM output. Construct a full map of the environment. The robot performs an initial rotation. It then travels towards a given target. Once it arrives, it searches for bottles nearby using the camera. When a bottle is detected, it moves forward, adjusts its position using the ultrasonic sensor, and collects the bottle. Once the robot has enough bottles, it goes back to the recycling area to drop them off and then starts again. The robot constructs a path using a rapidly exploring random tree method. Once the path is found, the robot follows it closely until it reaches the target. While traveling, the robot recomputes periodically a new path and always checks for obstacles with the LiDAR. Our robot is able to pass difficult obstacles. Robotl can run over rocks by advancing backwards. However, it is risky. That is why we only do it at the end of each run. It is rather challenging with only two driving wheels and dangerous for the slam, which can get lost easily when there is perturbation. This semester project has taught us a lot of things. Even though the final run for the competition wasn't successful due to a slam problem and some bad luck, we are really proud of what we could achieve. Special thanks to Alessandro Crespi for his precious help throughout the semester and to Professor Itzberth 